It's Laura here from My Heart Planners. Today I'm going to show you how to make something like this to organize your computer desktop. It's very quick, easy, and doesn't require any special tools or knowledge. The first thing that you're going to need to know is what resolution your screen is. There may be a different way to find this on a PC, but on my Mac I'm just going to click the Apple. About this Mac displays and then you'll see um, right here it tells me that my display is 2560 by 1600 so I just write that down then I open my web, web browser I type in hickmonkey.com I don't have an account I you don't have to sign up for anything you can just get started I'm gonna go hover over design and it's gonna bring up the canvas options I will click custom and that's where I can put in the pixels that I just wrote down, 2560 by 1600, and click Make It. Next, right here it says Canvas Color. That is where I'm going to type in the color that I want. There's all different ways you can choose a color. You can just kind of click on this color wheel if you'd like to kind of you know play around with choosing your color. I happen to know the hex value of the color that I'd like, so I will be typing that in, but however you'd like to choose your color and then hit enter. Okay, so now I have my background. Next, I need to create the boxes. So right here, this um, overlays that will give you, oh, I have to click apply for the canvas color. Then for overlays, I'm going to click geometric and I can just get a rectangle and I would like it this means there's no border that's a splash and I'd like it to be white so I can choose right here just click the white so it it's white and then you can just drag it however you'd like just to make it the size that you would like so I'd like it, I, I like to leave some extra room at the bottom so that the Mac toolbar will be able to uh, be seen fairly well. So something like that I think would be good. I also, I'm changing the blend mode to lighten and then the fade um, to kind of like make it look a little bit transparent. So that's all I had to do there. Then I'm right clicking and I'm just going to duplicate. I recommend duplicating so you have the exact same settings. You don't have to remember anything. So over here I wanted something else that was about the same size. And then I'm going to right click again and say duplicate. Now here's where I wanted um, a shorter one. So all I do is make it shorter and then I duplicate overlay then I'm just going to use actually the arrow keys to kind of I can nudge this up and um, if you hold on the shift and arrow key it'll make it go up even even more so it'll go up faster so that way I can position it exactly where I want it all right so now I have my boxes positioned the next thing oh this one looks like it needs to move up just a little okay so that's all I had to do there the next thing, I'm just going to add these little hearts. There's all these different doodles. If you scroll down, that you can you can do all different kinds of things. If they have the little, some of them have this little like crown. That means um, to use those, you have to have the paid subscription, which is like, I think it's like $40 a year. It's not a lot, but I don't have that. So I'm going to use some of the free design. So I'm going to pick like this doodle heart. I'm going to just drag it over to where I want it. And then I'm going to click down on the side box and and resize it so it stays the same ratio. And then I'm going to change the color of it. And I happen to know the hex value of the color that I want, but you could click on one of those colors there if you didn't know exactly the hex value. And then enter. So there's my heart there. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click on it. Whoops, I clicked off of it. I'm going to right click on that heart and then duplicate overlay so that way I'll have the same color and then um, move this over here. Next I need to add my text above it. So to do that you can use all these, they have various choices built in for you so you can use any of these um, if they don't have that little 
crowned by them. They're completely free to use. So there's lots of great choices. Or you can use any font that is on your computer. I personally use Salamander Script, so that's all you have to do to use any font on your computer. Then I click Add Text, and it's going to give me a text box. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to type in um, Work Projects, and um, I'm going to move that over. It defaults to black, and that is the size that I'd like. Uh, over here you can center, bold, change the size. I'm going to go ahead and um, make this the exact length of the box. I'm right clicking on it and clicking duplicate text. Then I'm going to bring uh, this one over here and I think this, this one I called programs. And then I would duplicate this text on on down the other places. Um, I won't bother to show you how to do that, and but that's all all I had to do. And then I just click save, uh, name it whatever whatever you'd like. So desktop March fourth, and uh, I it's important to choose the highest file size so it covers your screen exactly and I just click save to my computer and it's saving it on the desktop I click save then I go back and right here it is and um, turn it over here and then to apply it I'm just right click and however you set a desktop but um, right there and it would place it on my desktop like this and then I just moved my icons around in the areas where they belong so I hope that helps you